Welcome to the fifth vlog of the Bruca Licona video series. Today with the topic applications in the cutting tool industry. Are you a manufacturer? Are you a user of cutting tools? Or are you dealing with them in a research facility? Then this vlog is exactly the right one for you. Today's expert and guest is Sandra and she is the head of customer care in Brew Calicona. Welcome and thank you for being here. Thank you Urban, I'm happy to be here. As you can see we have here different cutting tools, um, round tools as well as inserts and we will focus on them as well as on the main objectives of cutting tools which is edge preparation, surface finish and the overall geometry. Um, you are doing test measurements on a daily basis with your team here. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your experience about the trends of this industry? Of course, yes. So first of all, regarding edge preparation, you can uh, definitely see that they are getting always optimized in regards of the material that is uh, machined as well as the parts that are machined. Then when it comes uh, to surface finish, we experience that the surfaces itself are getting smoother and smoother. And at the third point, the overall geometry is getting more and more complex. And all these points are very well structured in this document. It's the white paper of Brew Calicona on cutting tools. And I would really recommend it strongly to you because you will uh, find out how competitive your tools are. But now let us move to the first instrument and the first application, the Edge Master X and the edge preparation. We are next to the Edge Master X, a very known product in our product portfolio. And Sandra and I agreed that we want to focus here now on three major topics. It's the usability of the instrument, what is very important on the shop floor. Um, it's the parameters itself in the software and it's also the possibility of a certain automation of the instrument. So Sandra, uh, could you please um, show our customers the measurement process itself? How do you position and how do you acquire the data? Sure. Um, the measurement process itself is very intuitive. You just position the sample below the sensor, activate the focusing help and then move with the course drive directly on the surface or on the top of the surface to be in focus. Then you can use the automatic light settings, um, check if it's the right position and then you just select what kind you want to measure with the reference type and click on start measurement. So it's basically a free click solution. Exactly. And uh, what is happening now actually, uh, we see the bar, it is uh, going up. So this is now the acquisition of the data set, correct? Exactly. The system is now measuring the data and also at the same time uh, calculating all the parameters I've selected before. Yeah, and now uh, during this period, also in the background automatically the, par uh, the parameters are measured. Uh, and calculate it and then um, it's automatically displayed here. So Sandra, can you tell us in detail uh, which parameters are there? Of course. First of all, here you can see a mo mean profile of the contour of the edge. This mean profile is made out of 50 extracted profiles, which you can see here where they are located. And on the top you can see a result page and what is very nice, you can have here an M a traffic light system if a parameter is okay or not okay. Then, then you have a, a second tab because, uh, just to check on the 3D data set. You can see the 3D data set as well as here a red area which is a detected defect. Mm -hmm. In the advanced tab you can toggle between all 50 selected and extracted profiles and you can see here also all calculated parameters of these profiles. So you just can track every single profile and in the end there is my most favorite page that's the customized page with the edge quality results where you can check on all the results or all the defects uh, detected uh, especially on size and uh, dimensions of the mm -hmm. defect. And also the volume 
actually how much material exactly, is missing yeah. on the edge yeah? yeah very good so we we talked about the usability we talked about the parameters in the software but the third point that we wanted to talk about was the um, uh, was actually the automation so what is if I have more inserts can I automate the measurement yeah this is also very easy we click here on next measurement we exchange for this single insert to four inserts and then we select here instead of single edge we select multi edge So, and here are the results. As you can see, we have here less parameters displayed than before, um, but overall you can select 36 edge parameters to display and to calculate. From these 36 parameters, 14 parameters are uh, standardized in the VDI 2654, and this uh, committee is uh, standardizing the description of cutting tools and the measurements. And we are very proud that Franz, our head of R&D, is heading this group with another expert from Germany. So, um, Sandra, thank you very much. I think uh, we had a very detailed explanation on uh, edge preparation as a topic in the cutting tool industry on the Edge Master X, but we are still missing the surface finish topic and also the overall geometry. So let us move forward to the next instrument, to the Infinite Focus G5+. Plus. You just saw our advanced real 3D operating on the Infinite Focus G5 Plus. And this unit makes the entire system from a 3 axis to a 5 axis system. So Sandra, what could be the benefit for the cutting tool industry to have these two additional axes? In general, there are two benefits. One benefit is that we use the five axis machine to rotate the sample in order to measure multiple edges at once and then use it, for example, in our round tool measurement. The second benefit is that we are using our extension to focus variation, the real 3D technology, in order to capture the whole geometry of uh, of our samples and then uh, we have absolutely no limits in measuring any parameters. But first let me introduce you the round tool measurement. Here you can see the result page of our round tool measurement. Um, in general our, uh, edges in different directions are captured and you can measure next to all the 36 edge parameters you, can, you have the clearance, the rake and the wedge angle in respect to the rotation axis here calculated. Um, when I have uh, discussions with customers very often the rack angle is mentioned uh, as a very important one and when I look at our uh, cutting tool white paper I see a lot of information from our side to angles. So can you explain our customers what the rack angle, why is it so important? Yeah, uh, the rack angle itself is an important feature for the sharpness of a tool. So for example, if the rack angle doesn't suit, it's possible that the machined material may crack uncontrolled. But if you have the ideal rake angle, it can lead to an optimized cutting process and uh, with lower power consumptions. Great, so um, the round tool measurement seems to be a quite powerful tool from us, but there was the second benefit of the two axis uh, extension and that was the real 3D technology. So um, can you explain us about this technology? Of course. 
By generating data sets around the whole diameter, we are capturing a full 360 degree measurement. This 360 degree measurement is enabling us to total new opportunities. For example, a cut comparison. With this cut comparison, we are able to uh, identify deviations in the machining process. Or for example, we are, also, we, we are able to uh, fit different planes and measure therefore the helix angle, the flute radius or the overall geometry. And this ensures us the final qual quality of the cutting tools. Not just the tool geometry is very important for the tool quality, but also as mentioned in the beginning of the flock, the surface finish of the tool and there particularly in the flute of the tool. And why is it so important there? Because we need a fast chip removal and we want to reduce the heat in the machining process. All these parameters influence the tool life a lot. Therefore, our wear measurement module supports tool manufacturers in understanding and increasing tool life. Here you can see our wear measurement module. On the left side, in the 3D viewer, you see the selected 3D dataset. When switching to the tab animation, the 3D datasets are showing the impact of wear over time. Furthermore, you can select the location of the cutting plane in order to select the profile of interest. In both the 3D dataset as well as the profile, important wear parameters are visualized. For example, the notch wear, which results from the chip flow, is marked in blue. The flank wear is marked in orange. The wear measurement module is closing the loop of all required measurements in the overall tool life. And actually, this was the goal of this fifth flock. We want to be seen as a state-of-the-art solution provider for the cutting tool industry in overall geometry, surface finish and edge preparation. Thank you very much to be part of this session. Please feel free to comment or like this video on our YouTube channel. And we are looking forward to see you in the next vlog and then without injury.